All right, I'm Brett Jackson. I'm a tech here at Active Water Sports, and I'm going to show you how to winterize any Raptor series engine from Inmar. Um, we're doing this boat right here. It's a 2016 Malibu Wake Setter 23 LSV. So let's get started. So for the early earlier Raptors, I mean they came out in 15 um, on the Super and the Muma line, but um, some of them require that you may need a inch and a sixteenth socket or wrench. And same with the 7 16th socket or wrench. And I'll show you where those are going to be needed here in a little bit. Um, the first thing, I mean, it doesn't matter which way you do it, but the first one I'm going to tackle, the first plug is this uh, V drive plug. So the back seat comes out. You just want to take this tray out as well. And then you have access to your V drive. And there's a plug down here. On this model, it's an inch and a sixteenth plug. It should be the same on all of them. Um, some of the newer uh, engines come with a blue plug that you actually just have to take out with your fingers, but this one doesn't have that. So we'll take our inch and a sixteenth and get that thing going. Take that off. And then you see the water run out. And it's a good good time at this point to make sure that you pulled out the center T plug on your on your boat here um, that that ensures that all this water that you drain out of the uh, engine and stuff will run out the bottom underneath the boat so and then once you get that plug out you want to go to this exhaust crossover hose this is what's going to drain the uh, exhaust manifolds and so there's actually just a blue plug on this model. This hose typically runs just right over under the V-drive. And then these little blue plugs come out pretty easy. You don't have to, no tools required. And then that's draining out there pretty nicely. You just want to put this hose down as far as you can in the bilge. And sometimes, like on the Supers and the Moombas, this will just be a uh, hose connection. Um, so that, that requires no tools either. And you want to just disconnect that and let all the water drain out. And then just keep your plugs in a, keep them in one area so you can keep an eye on those. And then we'll put them in a bag and hang it from the steering wheel or throttle at the end there when we're done. There's also the strainer right here that you want to make sure that you get all the water out. All these engines have one. Some of them look different than this, but you want to make sure you get that water out of there. And make sure it's clean of debris too, so we'll get that cleaned out and put it back in there. And so the next thing to do is the uh, transmission cooler. Uh, there is a uh, there is a little inch and a or seven sixteenths plug in those. And um, some of the newer ones actually have a remote hose that comes from it with a little blue plug on it as well. And those ones are really easy to get to. Those ones you'll be able to actually reach from uh, this compartment right here. And then you'll be able to find it back there. But this boat doesn't have that. So we'll have to crawl in from the uh, starboard side. You may need a little light for this. And we can get a better shot of this here in a minute. This is what that little plug looks like. Again, on the, on the later models, there's actually a little hose that runs from it. They should be able to get that blue plug out from the V-drive compartment. And then the last plug that you'll have to get to is the heat exchanger. And on this, on this Malibu LSV, there's these compartments that open up. You just take that out, and then you can actually reach from it right here and get that heat exchanger plug. We'll get a better view of that too in a second. And that's just a blue plug that you get out with your hand. And that's what it looks like as well. And then water will come out of the heat exchanger. So in total, you want to have four plugs, um, and then that, that ensures that you get all the areas on the engine that you need to drain out so you don't have any freeze damage. And we put all these in a little plastic bag, and we hang from the uh, 
hang from the steering wheel. Or the throttle. It's a good idea to put the T-plug in that as well. And then the final step you want to do to ensure that all the water is out of your engine is you want to fire up the engine for about a couple seconds and then shut it right off. That ensures all the water gets out of there through those drain plugs so you're good to go. Also you want to make sure that you have all your ballast drained uh, so it's a good idea to run all your pumps, all the empty pumps from all your tanks and bags just to make sure all that water is empty out of the system so you don't have any issues with freezing. And then also, if you put fuel stabilizer in the gas tank, it'll make sure that you have good gas there in the springtime. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, give us a call at Active Water Sports. Just shoot us an email and we'll be able to help you out.